What's up guys, shamrock 2 9 right here, and today I am bringing you the third episode in my Minecraft series, Home Improvements. And before I get into today's episode, I'd just like to say that massive, massive thank you to everyone for watching this, liking it, and uh, generally just enjoying this series, because it's been going down incredible with you guys. Uh, I'm getting about 30 views a pop, and I only have 37 subscribers, so that is really something. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot, but for me it's amazing, so again, thank you all for watching these. And I'm having a lot of fun making them as well, which I think helps. And, uh, let's see, what else? Oh yes, I made a new skin for myself. I tried to base it on how I look in real life. Uh, I think it did an okay job, but I only really bothered for about 10 minutes. I didn't put that much effort into it, so it's not perfect or anything. But nevertheless, I'm now going to get into the episode itself, what you all came here for. And, uh... The only thing you'll notice about the outside of the house new is I have put a double door and I put pressure plates down as well so that they will automatically shut. I've also made a trash chute down here and eventually I will go to the nether and I will get some netherrack because I do want to make... Ah, uh, why am I stuck? I do want to make it so that um, whatever I just chucked down here gets instantly burnt uh, as opposed to just sitting there for a while until it despawns. But until that day, I will, uh, yeah, I will just, I cannot talk today. I will just leave it like that. Um, let's see, what else? Nothing's changed over here. I put a double chest in the uh, shed because the single chest just was not cutting it for the amount of weed I had. And the sheep have not changed a bit. They haven't made any more babies. Or rather, I haven't forced them to make any more babies. But um, yeah, I've been thinking about putting a roof over this though. Uh, it would be fairly easy to do. Um... I just, like, I see it when it rains and the sheep are still out here and I feel kind of sorry for them. I know they're only virtual sheep and all, but... Oh, Jesus! Shit, shit, shit! No, I'm really sorry. Oh, fuck. Well, let's go and pretend that did not happen. Moving back onto the house itself. And, uh, yeah. Moving swiftly away from the sheep who are going to revolt against me if I'm not careful. And, uh, first of all, you'll notice this is no longer my bedroom. Uh, I no longer have a chest here. Bed's not here. There's an infinite water source, which I just stuck here. Uh, because I figured I needed one and this pattern uh, one of my friends we have like a private multiplayer server kind of thing like two two player survival kind of thing uh, he made this design in our house which he did burn down eventually uh, it's a long story I won't go there but he if he's watching this video he will recognize that design so hi uh, let's see what else I haven't changed anything in here but I do kind of want to put a fireplace here instead of this Donkey Kong poster um, I know it's made of wood, has to go on fire, whatever, I could change it into stone brick fairly easily, that wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, let's see, the kitchen's pretty cool, actually. Uh, double chest there instead, I don't know if that was in the last episode, it might have only been a single chest in the last episode. Anyway, more furnaces, an iron block instead of the wooden block, because this just looks a bit more flashy. And I'll get into that later, because there are two more new rooms down there, which I will explore later. This is the cactus fire, nothing has changed, apart from the fact that there is now water in the middle. Oh, and actually, while I'm here, you will remember from the last episode that I did have a duck stuck underneath uh, this thing here. I did eventually get him out when I was digging down from here. He then ran straight into a cactus, which, yeah. So the duck's dead, and I am not going to get another one. Because they're apparently all idiots who are just going to run straight into a cactus. Nevertheless, I have decided to make this top floor. I was very indecisive about what to do with it. I just made it into a large storage room. Uh, this might only be temporary, but um, I don't know, because I have a lot of good ideas for a storage room uh, that I won't spoil yet, but uh, I don't know if I could implement them into one like this, because it's so high up. I think it would need to be underground to uh, suit all the ideas I have in my head. And also, while I'm here, I got some diamonds. Yeah, buddy, I got diamonds. And a lot of redstone. I need to do something with that. But diamonds. That was about an hour of cave spelunking, and... I only got two diamonds, so, you know, a bit gutted, but whatever. I also put this in the wall, because it looks a bit cooler. Anyway, moving on to the ro new rooms of the house. Ah. And I'll probably expand this. I'll get rid of all the dirt here. That just looks horrible. And uh, so, yes, I have two rooms either side. I'll go on the right first. And this, despite what it looks like, it's going to be my nether room. See, my idea is that I'm going to make it sort of cheery. I'm going to put some flower pots when the new update comes out. You're getting flower pots for anyone who didn't know that. I'm going to stick them down there, make this room look all bright and happy. And then all of a sudden, oh, what's in this cupboard? Oh, it's a portal to hell. That's what's in this cupboard. I only need like four more blocks of nether. To, not nether. What's it called? Obsidian to finish this up off. 
It's gonna go for like a Narnia style theme. Like, you know, a wardrobe with a portal to well, not hell in Narnia, but still. You know, that's that was the kind of theme, the kind of idea I had in my head. And finally moving on to an automatically shutting door and my bedroom. Oh yeah. This is pretty kick ass. I'm quite proud of this actually. Um I've got my craft table stuck in the wall here. Uh, I got my bed. I do like this little design I did as well, sort of just improvised from my head. Uh, that painting, not entirely sure what it's of, but looks pretty cool nonetheless. Couch, table, flat screen TV. And I'm loving these pressure plate doors at the moment, they are so awesome. Um, but yeah, no, I put a lot of effort into this. I think it really paid off, it does look very cool. And eventually, I think I'd like to have a secret door behind this painting. I think that would just be really cool. But um, I'll save that for another day. And when I eventually get a piston or something, because I still don't have any slime balls, which I really do want. I need some sticky pistons. So that's about it, really, for this episode. Uh, what else we got here? Things for next episode. Now, someone actually did suggest to me doing a uh, fountain out in the front of my house. And I think that's a brilliant idea. I'd love to do some sort of water feature just going along here. Uh, I think it would look awesome. And I think I've discussed that in previous episodes. I may not have. I don't really remember. Uh, but anyway, I'm a bit lazy like that. And uh, let's see. This pool over here. I so want to do something with this. Like, I've got a cliff over there. It's instant waterfall opportunity. I should really I should really make a bridge across the middle of it because I'm sick and tired. I have to walk around the edges normally uh, because going through the middle takes ages. So a bridge would probably be quite necessary. Um, but a waterfall definitely would, a good, would be a good idea and some sort of secret underwater cavern, which again, I haven't really looked into much, but I do like the idea of it. And I don't know if it's even possible or not, but so... I'm putting that on hold, but... No, it just looks like I should be able to do something with this, and I definitely want to try it out. So, anyway, yeah. Guys, like I said, thank you for watching this video. Um, keep up the amazing support, and I'll keep up the Minecraft uh, videos. Anyway, I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. See you next time.